it's best practice to provide resources for supporting all devices. But sometimes it might seem like you need to make a trade-off between supporting devices and a small APK. Now, if you're not using multi-APK, supporting different screen densities, CPU architectures, and language could account for a pretty big chunk of your app's APK size. That's why we've introduced a new publishing format called the Android App Bundle. It'll mean smaller downloads for your audience and easier artifact management in the Play Console for you. An App Bundle is a single comprehensive build artifact that you upload to Google Play instead of an APK. Compared to multi-APK, an App Bundle delivers smaller apps to users and is simpler to manage because it's only one build artifact. When Google Play has your App Bundle, it uses a new process for delivering APKs called dynamic delivery. Put simply, it only sends the portions of your app that each user needs. Now, just using the new App Bundle format will automatically give your users APKs with only the language, screen density, and ABI resources that they require. And it requires no code refactoring from you. Building an App Bundle is just a matter of selecting the right build output. When using Android Studio, here you'll see the option to generate a signed App Bundle. Select Building a Bundle instead of an APK, provide your key, choose the destination folder, and you're done. You'll then have your shiny new App Bundle. You'll also need to enroll in Google Play App Signing in the Play Console. Google Play is essentially generating optimized APKs for your users, so you need to give it the ability to sign those APKs for you. App Bundles are supported by Google Play right now. The technology that Play uses to generate APKs from the bundle is open source, so in the future, your app bundle will work with other app stores that enable support. Bundles work for all devices. Devices running Lollipop and higher get the greatest size benefit from dynamic delivery, but pre-Lollipop devices will still get a multi-APK style APK, which is automatically generated by Google Play from your app bundle. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at how Google Play actually uses this bundle, what dynamic delivery is doing, and how users get their APKs. In the past, you'd upload an APK, and then Play would then serve that same APK. When you upload an app bundle, Google Play takes that bundle and splits it into multiple smaller APKs, known as split APKs. The part of the app which is always downloaded is placed into a split APK called the base APK. When using a bundle, Play automatically makes split APKs for resources, assets, and native libraries. These resource-specific split APKs are called configuration APKs. Let's take a look at an example. I'm an English-speaking user on a Pixel 2 XL with 560 DPI resolution running on an ARM64 processor. If I install your app, Dynamic Delivery will find just the split APKs that I specifically need. These split APKs will be delivered down to compatible devices and behave like a single, customized APK that's optimized for my device. For earlier devices, Dynamic Delivery will send down a multi-APK with resource-appropriate ABI and density resources. With the introduction of the Android App Bundle and Dynamic Delivery, we're allowing for automatically smaller apps and a smoother deployment process. In addition, the App Bundle format also introduces Dynamic Features, released in beta. Dynamic Features allow you to modularize specific features and then deliver them to your users on demand. For more information, check out the links below. If you're curious about bundleifying your app, the best place to get started is g.co Android App Bundle. Happy coding!